Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome back to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're gonna finish up the rooftop part of this panel. These panels have been up here for one day. Yeah, I got that stuff. I got this stuff in already in one day. But anyways, the panels are gone all dicky looking. Look at them. What is really going on? So we're gonna test them first of all to make sure they're even still freaking working. That link I put on the other video there, maybe you better not buy these panels because they're not looking too healthy right at this moment. And if they're not working, I'm gonna be pit it ist big time. Not gonna be making much power right now because the sun's not really out, but we should be able to see what's really going on anyway. Well, the one I was worried about is still working, so I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll check that one in a minute. We got these things in, the rooftop clipper rooskies, and they just stick to the roof, and then you put a zip tie in them and it holds the wires. But I'm gonna clean the roof, and I'm gonna use some filling on it as well, so it stays. See me over there? Probably not. Here, let me give you the angle of the dangle. Oh, that's probably too low. There you go. So first thing we're gonna need is, there's a fucking bee up here bugging me. I have no idea why. We'll put one there and we'll put one there to see how good this stuff holds. Go away. Get out of here. Oh, all right, there. And tell her ready, they're not gonna hold her the dick. And we'll put one here. Look at it. That's really going on. Not bad, I guess. Like I said, I'm gonna put some silicone on there as well, so they should be fine. God, it's hot up here, Captain. I don't wanna be up here for too long. Can we fast forward this? All these things are absolute garbage. What the f kind of do we buy anymore? Oh, they don't stick at all. Oh, well, now it's holding. All right, well, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere anyway. I'll be looking at this right now. There's no easy way to make this look neat. So if you're doing solar panels, there's no easy way to make this look neat. Just saying. Unless you drill a hole in your roof and put everything straight down, which I am not doing. No holes in El Rufo. If these wires fall off and float away, I don't give two shit. That looks not too bad. Well, there we go. It doesn't look perfect, but it looks a lot better than it did before. So now we'll go down and we'll wire it down there and see what happens. You gotta do what you gotta do, you do. All right, so we have a ran down the awning here, zip tied against the edge. I was gonna run it inside this trim piece, but this thing swings back and forward. One time or another, it's gonna catch it and cut through the wire and we'll have a problem. So I just drilled two little tiny holes and just put zip ties all the way down because we're gonna go underneath the trailer and into the trailer because I wanna put the charge controller beside the bed so I can monitor it. I mean, that way you can charge the old phone of with it too. So we're gonna come back up the floor right in here somewhere and go up to there. Somewhere. What do you think of that? Freaking decent what that is. Oh, dick. These batteries are useless. You're gonna be the combo kit drill and whatever, don't buy it. Just buy the gun separately and get the five milliamp batteries instead of these stupid things. Oh my gosh, can you see? Probably not, because I can't. So you wanna make sure you drill the hole big enough you can get four wires through. Two to come in, two to go out. Holy shit, that's hot, Captain. We're gonna rate that's hot. Jim. Careful. How easy. How okay, hold on, Jim. <clears throat> Let's send this bad boy through first. There we go. Careful. Oh, there we go. Well, that wasn't hard. Ow! That's hot. Can we get four wires in this hole? Or do we need to go bigger? I think we should be good. Made a mess in there, didn't I? You're gonna have to freaking suck that out. So now that we did that, we're gonna have to go up under here and route it into there. So the hole's back here, so if we go in like this, through here, we can put a zip tie in that, which will hold it there, and then we can go straight up through the hole here, and that way we'll be able to silicone the hole shut again. So let's get these wires turned around and feed them in, right into the old trailer. Oh yeah, we did, I can even reach them. Holy. All right, so we'll stop there because we're gonna have to bring the other ones out to the batteries. 
which we can follow them ones we can come back out the same hole and go that way so we'll seal around this and we'll seal in there and then we won't have any water get in there that's what i think leave comments down below if you think too we don't like to think sometimes but sometimes we have to okay? let's get a zip tie right now and do that actually let's get a doodad to hold that right there is what we need to do How you doing? So we'll take one of these rings and we'll put it here and we'll screw it up here to hold it straight down from the top of the trailer. Just remember, we gotta caulk all this too, eh? Perfect. And then we'll zip tie this to here. Perfect. And then we'll run the other wires through here in a minute after we get the other ones out and go over to here and straight up to the old battery. Yeah, we can actually go right to that box back there. And that way, hey, if you go right to the box over there, we don't even have to go right to the battery. That'll be awesome. Friggin' right, that'll be awesome. So where does that go to? That goes to there. We can't get through with the frame there. We can't get through the frame there. We might be able to get through the frame up there, but I don't know, to be continued in a minute. All right, well, I temporarily have the positive and negative running over from the, the uh, panel box, or the panel. I haven't got the charge controller hooked up yet, but I want to show you this. This is the batteries up front. I'm going to put more up here, but this is it. And there's a ground, there's a positive. So instead of going all the way to the battery, you can go right to here and it's the same idea. So that's what we're going to do. But make sure you always put yourself a fuse in between the panels and the controller. It did not come with one, which it's supposed to, but it didn't. So guess what? She ain't getting one. Or guess what? She's getting so guess what? I'm putting one in of mine, and that's how we roll. So first thing we gotta do is actually mount that thing, which I'm gonna mount right there. What do you think, baby? So we'll get this now food in here, and we'll get it mounted up in here. Are you dizzy yet? Oh, for sakes. What happened? How are we doing? Not too good. So we'll get this into here. Careful. Well, we'll get this into here, like that. Let's try to get this one back out. No way, okay. Oh my God, somebody help me. What seems to be the problem here? You're going in. There we go. And you know what? I only need one. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Click that off. We'll take this off. We'll figure out how much wire we need here. Cut her there, splice her there. Undo this, slide that in here, slide her in there, and tighten her up. There we go. So there's one end. So there's a positive hooked up. Now we just gotta come off that into that, which is a circuit breaker. So we wanna make sure on the side of the battery, which is this side, I should probably unplug the trailer. No, wait a minute, that's only feeding 12 volts back. We should be okay. But we gotta figure out what size this is. Could I get lucky enough? Nope. You need that about that long right there. And we gotta slice that, dice that, and get something for that. Did I miss anything? Probably not. Where was I? Oh yeah, ground. Let's do the ground first. So we'll get this ground off, which ain't very long at all because it goes through the other side. So actually I might change that screw out and break it back off again. Let's do that because it's too shorty now. So I'll take that off. We'll put this back on and we'll put that self tapper through there once I figure out what size I need. I need uh, that work right there, Jim. We'll put this on here like this. We'll give it a squeeze. Ah, perfect. And then we'll put it on there like that. So there's a the ground. So now we just need to run the positive to here. So we gotta figure out what size that bugger is. And this one should go be just enough. Friggin' right it is. So let's get this off and we'll put it into the fuse thing first. Slicers. Allen key, decent. Cover, there we go. Make sure you leave this breaker off until we're completely done. Cut this off, because I don't know why it's hanging there. There it is. So it's a 10 mil, if anybody's wondering. Oh, let's get the end off first. Slap that on there. We're gonna crimp the shit out of it. Put that on. Put that back on. Well, that ain't working. Oh, you wanna play that game with me, do you? I got a trick for you. Take this piece of wire and go. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Ah, oh, it won't fit. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> oh, God. How about these? Oh, that's really in there. Got them? Oh, there it goes. My God. So there we go, that started. So now we can get this on there and now we can put her back in, Jim. There we go. So that's all there is to do in that. That's done. So we got breaker into the positive side of the battery. This is the power coming from the RV to charge the battery, but this can go in line with that as well. And then we get the ground. So once we get the charge control hooked up, we can turn that breaker on. 
not until. So let's get up there and get that done. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put my charge controller beside the bed so I can monitor it when I'm, you know, just chilling out. It's like a little gadget. So I'm going to put it right here on the wall, right about beside this plug right here, which will be perfect. So what we need to do is I just need to mark that out on which way the holes have got to be. So we'll go about there. So we need a panel positive. I'll do this nice and slow so you don't wreck the wood. And I'm going to have to go really deep here because I'm going through a two by two. We better get my long drill bit. Remember that drill bit I had that went really good? That way I can kind of bend her into the corner. Captain, there's one. They're pretty much right beside each other. Two. And then battery is right beside that one. Decent. And then other battery is beside that one. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll drill them a little bit bigger with the other drill. Oh, I think I'm gonna paint this trailer. Oh, wait a minute. The charge control is going there. We're okay. I can jab it as much as I want right there. All right, we're good. So now we want battery negative positive. Let me know if that comes up. Let's try this again. Negative positive. Did I get it right the first time? Oh yeah, I did. So now we need solar panel negative positive. Now just so you know, if you have two black wires and you think to yourself, which one's positive? I'll show you how to do that. So if you have yourself here a multimeter and you take these two wires from the solar panel and you just touch them in the hot spot area, see how it says minus 19 volts? That's because they're backwards. If you turn them around, 19 without the minus. So this one's negative and the other one's positive. You might have learned a new thing today, maybe. Maybe, probably not, but I'm just saying. So let's see if we can get this up here. I think I'm gonna need a bigger drill bit for this. Frig, what else is new? Yeah, I'm gonna need a new drill bit. So that's... Off window. All right, so negative. Is it still too small? What the hell is really going on? Negative. I've got two holes in the same hole. Okay, negative, positive. All right, we got her now. I'll take you inside and show you my butcher job. You're gonna love it. It's pretty freaking amazing. So here's our wires. So we're hook up the battery feeds first. Count them. Uh, more, 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 I said. Less, more. Uh, we need a screwdriver. Why wouldn't we? So we'll get the screwdriver out and we'll fix that. When you're hooking up these charge controllers, always make sure you put negatives on first. When you're opening up these things too, always make sure that you see it go all the way down before you try to jam in some friggin' wire because these things can be a real dick if they're not all the way opened. So I got them all opened. So now we'll go battery negative. There we go. Battery positive. There we go. And then we'll go solar panels. We go negative and then we go positive. She's a little tight, she is. There we go. Get her in there deep, eh? Bury her in there, Jim. Oh, she's a little too long now. You don't want bare wire sticking out. Try to avoid that if you can. All right, so now tighten that up. There we go. So now we can feed that back in the hole. And as you see, it will sit nicely low and you won't even see the friggin' marks on the wall. See, there you go, look at that. Get that nice and straight and screw it on. But in the meantime, we're ready to friggin' go. So let's uh, turn on the doodad and you let me know if you see anything happen. What happened? Anything? Oh. Well, as my camera went into overload, heat overload, I turned it on. So hopefully you caught that, but there it is. It's working good. I vacuumed up that spot. I vacuumed up under here. Just going to type a few wires here and there, but that kind of calls her an end on this video. If you have any questions about this, don't forget to leave a comment down below and I can try to answer it if I can. I'm no professional, but I seem to get stuff done okay. Stick around because we're going to build a solar system to charge a golf cart 36 volt. That's a 36 volt golf cart. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that because that's to come real soon actually but other than that hopefully everybody's having a good day hopefully you enjoyed this video of hooking the solar panels up in the old trail of Ruski. if you did give me a thumbs up i appreciate it but have a good day i'm gonna go in and eat and hopefully you're doing the same love y'all thanks for being here and you know what to do for now